Hi folks, recently you've seen me post a whole bunch of stuff about Bluetooth locks and here's one from Master Lock. It's a uh, number is 4401DLH and you open this one with your smartphone. It's pretty nifty and it's probably one of the better Bluetooth locks I've seen, not that that's necessarily, you know, great praise. But to open this one up, all I do is drill out four rivets and after doing that, make sure the lock is in an unlocked position and I usually open up this battery compartment on the back to be able to actually ah there we go push up and out to get the innards outside so let's push up gently try not to have things fall apart and let's remove this piece now this one uses roller bars instead of let's say something like um, ball bearings now this should be just as secure as ball bearings uh, but just like ball bearings, you can't shim this. There's nowhere for things to go. There's this little actuator piece right here. And I'm going to try to do it slowly so I don't pop out the roller bars. While there is nothing down here, pulling up on the shackle lets the roller bars move. And this comes down and out of the way. And then it has enough room for the shackle to escape the housing. Now when it's in the lock position, there's a little piece right here. It can't be moved. And since it can't move, this can't come down. And since this can't come down, the rollers can't fall out of the way and you can't open the shackle. And that little piece is right here on the board. Now, hopefully I didn't lose any of the side pieces because I was taking this apart. But let me show you how this thing would work. There's a couple of modes uh, on how this thing works. Um, so normally, if you have your phone out and the app around and so you just press the button, it sees your phone's nearby and can do an unlock for you. Uh, that's not so great because you can do sort of an amplification slash replay attack where if someone's in their house and the, let's say this is on the barn door, you might be able to amplify it and pass the signal on and open it and make them be unaware of it other than perhaps some kind of notification on their phone. So you can open this via either, like I said, Bluetooth phone or you can also use uh, directions on the pad. I'm going to go ahead and open up the phone app and show you how this works. Now, for this to actually function right, I can, uh, well, let's put this in uh, locker mode. That way it doesn't communicate with the phone at all. And that amplification attack I mentioned before wouldn't be possible. But I'm going to take it back into, into normal mode. And I'm going to press down a little button right here that's kind of hidden. Without doing that, it won't actually turn the mechanism. So let's do that a couple more times. And you see how that little mechanism goes in and out. Well, when that is in the out position, it fits into this nitty bitty groove right there. And if it's in that groove, well, the actuator piece can't move down and the bowls can't move out of the way so the shackle stays in place. But well, that's pretty much this board in a nutshell. I'm going to get some close-ups of it so people can take a gander. It looks like they put some kind of coating all on the uh, chip so I can't quite read it. This one looks like I need some of the numbers. This one looks like they really tried to obfuscate it. Maybe if I scrape that off I'd be able to find something. But that's essentially this particular Bluetooth master lock. Hope it was informative.